Hey guys, 7th here. It's time for the August channel update. Now, I know I haven't been around for a while. There's reasons for that. I've swapped jobs, so there was a lot of things that was keeping me off of YouTube with that. Plus, I got really sick, had a really bad case of bronchitis. I'm still getting over that. So I'm having to pause the video here every so often just to cough and clear my throat because I'm still kind of uh, dealing with that. Uh, here's the situation. For the month of August, there's not going to be a vote, and here's why. Uh, when I did the whole thing about uh, games that are donated will take precedence, I didn't realize how many people out there would want to do this. And so in the month of the July, I got four games donated to me. Just right in a row. Bam, 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 bam. And I found myself in a situation where, you know, I was supposed to be doing Final Fantasy 13 too, but I had so many games that were supposed to take precedence because they were donated that I was getting behind, plus with the job and, and the sickness and whatnot. So I'm still behind. I've, I've done two of them, which was Max Payne 3 and Lollipop Chainsaw. I still have two more from the month of July that I have to do. One of them, I'm less than halfway through the campaign, and the other one, I've got to do a couple of pickup uh, vid clips for it, and then it'll probably go up tomorrow or the day after. Uh, and the reason that I'm not doing a vote for July for August is because I have to catch those up. Plus, thanks to C the Kobo Review Channel, you know that scrawny little shit that lives in his garage and tried to start a debate war with me a f several months ago. He and his friend decided to uh, donate three games to me all at once. So now I'm already behind even more because I got to do those before I can do another vote. So. And he's really wanting to fucking torture me, too. The three games that he donated to me, Jesus Christ. One of them is a downloadable. I'm not going to get into that one uh, right now. The other two, for Christ's sake, Dirge of Cerberus, Final Fantasy VII. I went and picked this up at uh, GameStop. And then the other one, my God. Sing Star ABBA. Are you fucking serious? Who gives a fuck about ABBA? Who's given a fuck about ABBA over the last 30 years? And I got to play through this shit? But my word is my bond. I will play it and I will review it. God damn. So, what else have I been playing? What else have I picked up? Well, I did pick up, true to my word, Final Fantasy 13 2. I'm playing through it. I'm not very far because of the things I've already explained. Uh, eighth picked up, Medieval Moves. Uh, it's an on, basically an on-rail shooter, really, if you want to get right down to it. Uh, picked up... Asura's Wrath or Asura's Wrath or whatever. Ass is a good word for it. I'm, I'm going to be getting my review out for this one pretty soon, as soon as I can. Uh, picked up uh, Never Dead. I'll get into that one later. Uh, for my exclusives collection, I picked up uh, The Last Rebellion. I know it sucks, but I'm a completionist, so I had to pick it up for my, uh, for my exclusives review. Uh, I picked up... Uh, Resident Evil, the Raccoon City, Operation Raccoon City. I have not really played it yet, but there it is. Uh, picked up, uh, let's see here, Kingdoms of Amalur, picked it up, used. Haven't even gotten a chance to play it yet. And then, for those of you who have PlayStation Plus, who already have the uh, free downloadables of Back to the Future, if you spend 15 bucks, you can buy it on disc. If you buy it on disc in the United States, the US version is the only one that has it, it has a platinum trophy on it. So for you trophy hunters out there, 15 bucks you can get another platinum and it's a totally separate trophy list. So if you've already 100% in all the downloadable versions of Back to the Future, you get the trophies twice. So it kind of artificially upgrades, uh, upgrades your trophies. So there you go, if you're a trophy hunter. Finally, Finally, uh, I picked up Resistance Burning Skies for the Vita. As stated in a video on my other channel, I am not in agreement with the reviews. Uh, I really like the game. Graphics aren't the best. Multiplayer sucks, but you guys know that I don't play multiplayer anyway. I base my reviews for the most part on the campaign, and the campaign is good. The storyline is a mid cool that takes place between the second and third game, so it's, it's, it doesn't really have a whole lot of bearing towards the overall story arc of the series. But just as a first-person shooter, it works. It's a good game. I would recommend it for 30 bucks. I liked it. I also picked up uh, Kingdom Hearts for the 3DS. Uh, well, it's Kingdom Hearts, but it's another side story. 
I mean, this story, the, the overall plot structure of Kingdom Hearts is getting so convoluted by side story games, I'm getting sick of it. And all this adds is kind of uh, Pokemon-inspired monster training. Everything else in the game is more or less the same. There's a couple of special attack type stuff that the other versions don't have, but if you played a Kingdom Hearts, you've more or less played this, and it doesn't really add anything to the series. I'm getting sick of them. Bring on Kingdom Hearts 3. That's all I got to say about that. Uh, finally, I'll do a little quick unboxing. I picked up The Last Story. Came with the uh, soundtrack. Couldn't give a shit about that. Let's see what's inside here, shall we? I'm not one for unboxing videos, but since I already have it here and I hadn't taken the wrapping off, we'll go ahead and unbox it. Though it comes in this big storybook looking box. You take this back cover off here. All right, so here it is. Let's open it up. Let's see here. What all we got? Not sure what that's for. Looks like it would have something inside of it, but it doesn't. Okay. Uh, let's see. We've got an art gallery booklet. And the game. Whoa! Whoa, That's there's so much in here. Hurrah. So we got the... Uh, we got a little art plate here that looks like it's supposed to hold not something, but it doesn't hold anything. And then we've got the soundtrack, an art book, and the game. whoop de doo There's last story for you. Hurrah. So anyway, that's what I'm up to. And uh, like I said, I'm hoping to get the next review up in the next day or so. I'm also going to throw up some more 10-minute taste stuff because I've got picked up a lot of uh, downloadable games over the last several days. And we'll take a look at those too. Also got some retro stuff that I've done, so we're going to post that stuff up as well. And uh, again, sorry guys, no voting for August. Be thinking about what you want to vote for in September, assuming that I can get all this bullshit that Kobo Review Channel sent me done by the end of August. This is 7th.